It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end, aka Hoodie Hood, aka the number one villain. Hey, what's the deal, man? It's Bully motherfucking three to hold up. Alright, um pretty much like just like introduce yourself. Like you feel me, like where y'all grew up, like where y'all from and all that type of shit, you know? Well, we grew up in Southeast San Diego. And what they call Choice View, Mountain Hope, the mm-hmm. Fodies, the yep. Gloves, uh, Market Street, Hilltop, all that. Nigga, real Southeast, baby, man, nigga, then. Said I done lived all around that motherfucker. Yeah. Hell yeah. For sure. Uh, how, was it, how was it growing up over there and shit, though, for y'all? Uh, I say, like, everywhere else. Like, you know. It is what it is. All around in urban com- communities like that, um, shit, man. I don't know. He's bad kids, mischievous. Uh, mm-hmm. just, you know, trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, same shit, man. You know, going to juvenile hall. Yeah. All this shit, man. Getting in trouble at school. All that, you know. Yeah, for sure, just the same old shit type shit. Pretty Hell yeah. All right. Tell uh, for real. Yeah, hello. What um, what some of the like the schools y'all go, went to growing up? Uh, well, I went to Mead and Choice, and then I ended up at Oak Park okay. Elementary. Okay, okay, for sure. Shit, nigga, I done went to all type of schools. I went to Gompers. Nigga went to uh, shit, all type of elementaries. El Toyan, yeah. New Horizon. Shit, nigga, I done been all type of shit. Said schools in the South Bay, yeah. Southeast, <laughs> East Dago, <laughs> nigga, oh, everywhere. Oh, man, Except for all the good schools, I went to all the bad schools. Right. <laughs> yeah, I ended up in uh, after SCPA, like continuation schools, yeah. like juvenile hall, reflection stuff yeah. like that. So. Okay. Okay. For sure. Yeah, I went straight to uh, summits and shit. After a nigga went to the halls, I kicked out of Gompers and shit. Right. Straight to the summits. Them was the baby kids schools. Yeah, yeah, facts. Everybody there, every sure. race, it don't matter. Like, uh, even the white people there, they yeah. bad. Like, everybody. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so you said, um, you said y'all, y'all from 40s. When, uh, when did that happen for y'all? Like, what age? Like, did y'all pretty much, like, you feel me, start that, like, get put on and shit? Shit, he yeah, a year older than me, so he. Yeah, I ain't get put on. My pops from over there, so oh, I just. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You just, just, just born in it type shit. Yeah, yeah type yeah, shit yeah. on her. So I ain't get put on or none of that, but I was just over there thugging. Lived oh. on the block. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, for just sure. Went from there. I ain't get put on either, nigga. I just squabbled a couple niggas, including him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hell no, hell no, I feel it. I feel it for sure. Bro told them niggas line it up. Uh. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. You on your shit with the YouTube shit right now. You doing the music shit. Um,. What made you jump into YouTube shit? Um, I used to be at work. I used to wash dishes. Mm-hmm. This was like 2016. And uh, I used to just have my earphones in. I'd be on YouTube listening to stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of people that inspire me. Um, the Alex Alonzo's, the Kev Max. Even though they do a different brand of YouTube as far as interviewing uh, uh, gang members and you know, Kev Mac do the history. Mm-hmm. But um, my number one influence was probably Tax Stone. Okay, okay, for sure. You, you yeah. aware of who that is? From New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That was like, I used to listen to him. He was comedy to me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, he was keeping it real. He was ruffling feathers. But uh, even though he had a podcast, that was something that made me be like, I want to get on YouTube. I've been telling them, him, my brother, a couple other homies since 2000 and. 16, 17, that I wanted to start a channel. And uh, eventually, I'm going to venture into the podcasting, too. Hell that, hell you know, for I, sure. I want to start with the channel first. Yeah, definitely. For sure. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, that nigga know how to talk good. Definitely. For sure. That's what hey, I be tapped in with this shit. shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I be tapped in for sure. Uh, yeah, so um, kind of like when it's through, like when, you, like when you started rapping and shit, like, know how that happened. Said I started rapping when I was younger. Like, I mean, I did my first rap probably when I was in juvenile hall, I think. Yeah, okay. I was, like, probably 14 or something. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I got out, rapped it to the homies, made it on the, um, you know how nigga used to have to use the uh, 
two radios, put the tape in this one, mm -hmm. play, yeah. play the beat, and then record, record it to the other out one. loud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I did that shit. Nigga was rapping for a little bit, make some hood songs, you know what I'm saying, for the homies, some <laughs> gang shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> then I just stopped rapping for a minute, you know what I mean? Okay. And I ain't even, I never really took it serious like that, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga know how to do it, you feel me? So yeah. it's something I love, you feel me? So nigga always going to do it regardless, you for feel sure, me? For sure, for and, sure. And let me add to that. Um, at the time, I had the same passion as him, so I do got songs with him when he's referring to some of these older songs. Yeah, okay, okay, for sure. But, uh, at, at a certain point in time, I was just like, I'm straight, I don't want to do that no more. Mm -hmm. I can, though. I yeah. do got a 16 for you. Yeah, yeah nigga okay. do got a 16, <laughs> the No, that's what's up, for sure. When, when you knew, like, y'all wanted to be, like, you know, in the streets type shit, like, what age? Shit, for me, I just, I never really knew. I just was in the motherfucker. Yeah, like so. you said, you was, like, born in this shit. Yeah, yeah, I was born in, when I was born, I was born in, uh, Shit, you know them apartments, um, them small apartments behind um, Sundance over there off uh, Logan Avenue? Across from 4-5 Apartments, it's a small apartment in the back of them. Oh, okay. That's where I was born at. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you talking about behind like, uh, Bel Air? The one, the one uh, closer to uh, to the school over there. Oh, you said 4-5? Yeah, 4-5 Apartments across the street on the right side. Yeah, that's behind Well, if you're going down, it's going to be on the left side. The liquor store, it's like two right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one on the right, one on the left. Oh, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 the one on the left, right in the back of those. Okay. So, you know, I'm just I'm just a real Southeast baby, so I done been all in the streets the whole my whole life, really. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. And, the, and the same with me, like, we lived on Morrison in the hood, like Morrison and Market in between, like, Market and F. Okay. And um, that's... You know, going to me, going to choice, and that's the environment, uh, including my mom having that type of uh, crowd, I would say, around me. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we didn't look at it like gangbang. We just looked at it like. A strong way of life type yeah, shit. Yeah, like we didn't, you know, but growing up, once you start to really be able to, you know, comprehend what's going on around you, then you know, like, okay, we live in the 40s. They live in Lincoln. They live in Skyline. Like, yeah, they yeah, live yeah. in West Coast. That's when we started to, you know. Okay. So I would say from the beginning, like, it was just, it was normal. And then my brother being three years older than me, um, obviously, he led the way. And then I just was like, shit, I, I wouldn't do what he doing. Okay, okay, for sure. I when did, uh, when y'all start, like, catching cases and shit? Like, what age? Uh, I think I caught my first one at, like, 14 or 13. Yeah. I was, I was 12. Yeah. Okay. 12, 12, 13, I actually... When I got booked in, I was 12, and then when I got released, which was like a week later, I was 13. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> what was it for? Uh, Kind of like a robbery assault. Okay, okay. Mine was for assault, too. Assault, yeah, okay. Niggas yeah, violent, can't keep their hands to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> going, hey, going to the school, packing shit out, you know how that be, right. young yeah. niggas, you know. You, um, you seen, what, what's your thoughts on, like, the, the Swamp Story shit? You seen that? Man, let me tell you something. I made a video about that. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that. No, no, I ain't seen that one. It was about Swamp Stories and Warren Kelly. But okay, okay. that was when they did the piece on Dago, and I just felt like they had some things wrong. Not mm -hmm. too much Warren Kelly. He said, like, one thing. Um, I still rock with Warren Kelly. Shout out to Warren Kelly. Yeah. But uh, Swamp Stories, I kind of fell back from that because he got a lot of false information in there. Definitely. And instead of correcting it, he want to get tough and crack jokes and say stuff. When he make a video like, oh, the people in this city, they're sensitive or they're mad because I said this. And it's like, bro, that's not yeah, that's not exactly. what we mad at. Yeah. Like, he tried to say that, well, I can't speak for everybody, but me personally, because I'm the only one who made a video about it. Uh -huh. I was more so mad when he he just didn't represent right. Like you could tell he just looked up a lot of information and he paraphrased it exactly. and made up. He filled in the gaps. He tried to make it seem like it was about. Uh, him saying that San Diego's crime rate is low or some stuff like that. Yeah, it's like, yeah, bro, no, nobody care about that. Like, get the gang history right if you're going to speak on this. Exactly. That's where I was coming from. Okay, okay. Damn, yeah, that, that shit was weird. I seen it. I was like, bro. The gang community is small in the city anyway. Right. It's, not, yeah. it's mostly, uh, like, other races. Ain't even a lot of niggas out here. Exactly. Right. Yeah, bro. Right. And, 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 and the highest. Still got nigga be going crazy. 
the, the, the highest crime rate probably in the city would be in Southeast or East Dago, and that's where you find, and not to take nothing from the essays, they do their thing, but overall, mm-hmm. the highest crime rate is going to be where the niggas is at. Yeah. And that's just, that's just facts. Historically, y'all could check it. Don't, I know y'all like to kill me in my comments. <laughs> I know y'all love talking shit to me, but today and every day I got time, cuz. <laughs> no, for sure. No, you be, uh, you be speaking real shit, and you speak on, like, a lot of different topics and shit. You feel me? Like, I, I, I seen the one when you talking about Tiger on that recent one. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was like, bro, yeah, you speaking real shit. Like, you ain't, like, really biased about shit. You keep it real. And, and that's the problem. People be wanting me to be biased. Yeah, yeah. They want me to just say, oh, you black, so go with the blacks. But you got to understand that the agenda that people in the industry are pushing. Yeah. Tiger. Uh-huh. Charleston Wack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's two different people, but that's one person to me because they're the same. But uh, they're not pushing what we pushing. Yeah. So when they push this propaganda, I have to say something about it. Now, the average nigga would be like, oh, you taking up for them. And a lot of people, I said this in a video I made the next day after that, a lot of y'all, uh, a lot of y'all niggas, uh, black people, whatever, uh, nah, y'all niggas, y'all not black. Uh, There's <laughs> a difference. Y'all try to make it seem like it was about Southsiders, and I said he disrespected Mexicans. Mm-hmm. Southsiders are not the only ones that's Mexican. You got civilians, you got uh, the Pices, you got the, the North Daniels, the Bulldogs, mm-hmm. the ones that we have had historically a better relationship with, he disrespected them too. Yeah, exactly. And they just made it about essays, and I was like, that's how you know niggas' comprehension level, and they can't think outside the box, homie. No. Call me a traitor and all this weird shit. <laughs> I was just like, whatever, homie. I stand on what I said. Exactly. For sure, for sure. Either one of y'all, like, ever been to prison? Or, like, just some county justice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. both of us. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, how long? And, like, uh, for what, if you could speak on it? Um, the county, too many times. Um, prison twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, not, not really nothing crazy like that, you know, just more so violations or, uh, guns. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, but yeah, I did two terms, um, two with half and then four with 80%. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did, um. I went to the pen like um, I like four or five times. Like four or five times? Yeah, for uh, high speed chase and shit. Oh, okay. okay. Gun case and shit. Yeah, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Right. After that, it was just all violations, gang violations, hanging with gang members. Violations. Right. Year flat. Ten see, months see, flat. He went. He nine went before flat. you, so they used to do you like that. Yeah. They, if you violate, you used to go back to the pen if you was on parole. Now, oh, if you okay. violate, even if you're on parole, you're going to sit in the county. county. Oh, okay, you, okay. Because they're okay. doing the AB 109 shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's like prison probation. Right. They they try to make it to where niggas ain't going back as much, I guess. Oh, okay. So you just go to the county for like a 10-day flash. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. What's the dude you be doing interviews with? Like, what's the name of his thing? Street TV. Street TV, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted to shout him out because I seen, I seen you talking about... Uh, the time you got shot. Yeah. Uh, I know you, like, ran through it. Can you, like, but for the people that haven't seen that, can you, like, you feel me explain it? Like, you go through it, like, quick. So, yeah, so you yeah, ain't got to, like, um, break it down and everything like that. Yeah. Um. Long story short, uh, they pulled up. I was slipping. And they got a stripe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's that simple. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was hanging out. I was fresh out of jail. I had been out for about three weeks. And, uh. You know, there was a lot of stuff going on at that time, and they just, you know, they did what they did, man. Yeah. And luckily, I'm still here. Exactly. Okay, okay, for sure. That that should make you, like, a lot more cautious, like, you watching your surroundings Oh, more. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay, for sure. I want to start working. You feel me? Working with y'all more. I don't want to think, like, I want. I didn't want to think, you feel me, when people think I didn't, like, like yeah, fuck with that side of town yeah. and shit. Yeah, that's what... A lot of people used to think that, like, I was, like, real yeah, biased yeah, yeah. and shit. Like, I didn't fuck with certain people and shit, but it ain't nothing like that. You feel yeah, me? It's so, all man. about networking. It's all about homies tapping in. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I tapped in. As yeah, soon for, as, sure, as, for sure, As soon as I seen, like, where you was going with this, I'm like, all right, you got a lot of artists on there. You got to get somebody that's in the YouTube game that's, you know. Exactly. Representing yeah. it. And, and like I said, I had already 
met you a few times, yeah. even though I didn't know you like that. So I'm like, man, let me go ahead and shoot my shot and see if I can, mm-hmm. you know. We, that was me opening the door to exactly whatever you want to do over here. That's why I brought bro with me. Yeah, I feel, I feel you on that for sure. Nah, we're going to get it in, though, for sure. Like I said, yo, um, yo, shit is dope. Like, I appreciate you coming through, even hit me, because you feel me? As far as on that type of shit, like, speaking that real shit on YouTube, like, I got the music video shit, but my shit is built around different artists and shit that went up, like, little Weirdo, Memo, Old Way, and all them type of shit. So it's not really built around just me, type shit, you feel me, if you get what I'm saying. Your shit is built around just you. You speaking real, like, like, like. You feel me? Yo, your audience actually fuck with you type shit. You feel me? So, yeah, I just pre- appreciate you coming through. You feel me? Most definitely. You already know, man. Anytime, uh, you know, you wanna work, put something together, man. You already know. You got my line. Yeah, hell, hell, no, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, hey, get his line. Yep, get his yeah, line. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Man, everybody's for sure. I'm gonna get him. Have, sure. have you seen the homie videos? I think so. That nigga Rich is uh, uploading our recent video to shit. Yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, hello. That shit go crazy. Yeah. Nah, we're going we gonna to get it in for sure, for sure. Though. It's like him and the other young homie, Quato, man, Free Quato. Yeah, 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 yeah that's... Uh, free Blast, Free all the homies on the set. Time. Smash everybody. Man. What you call it? Um, Kill Switch was telling me about him. Like he one of the hottest young niggas out here. Which Quarto. one? Quarto. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, shout out Kill, man. That's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop his interview soon, too, for sure. Right. What What's the difference? How, what, what you think is the difference now between, like, when you was, like, growing up out here, like, on some, I, I would say, like, the street shit? Um, I spoke about this already on my channel. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot which video it was labeled under but pretty much the difference is um it's a little more loose a lot more loose Mm -hmm. um social media social media technology (laughs) so the biggest even even yeah right and i don't care how turned up you are you got to think a little bit more Mm -hmm. than back in the days back in the days when you didn't have you know stuff watching you everywhere you didn't have that eye in the sky yeah you know, it was a lot more cracking. It was a lot more on site. That's why if you look at the statistics, it was a lot more than now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you could do that type of stuff. But uh, anyways, social media, man, everything is pretty much um, being played out in front of you like a, a sitcom mm-hmm. or a reality show. Yeah. Life is one big reality show now. Because yeah. all somebody got to do is pull out their phone. Definitely. You know, and... People who normally wouldn't have a name or a voice or a reputation, all they got to do is go, you know, Facebook literally say what's on your mind. <laughs> you can yeah. really post whatever yeah. you want to. Exactly. And you won't have a crowd of minions believing you, even if it's only 10 of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the biggest difference. Uh, it's just technology, man, to change. You can control the narrative type shit. You can control the narrative. Social media. Exactly. You can play like you something you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. That's what a lot of these niggas be doing. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? They be acting crazy on the internet. Yeah, See them niggas, they be on some turn down shit. Niggas be spooky Jack. Yeah, <laughs> they be turned <laughs> down. He's going crazy on the net, though. <laughs> yeah. Hella gun emojis, fires, and bow wows and shit. Right. <laughs> on the set, that shit crazy. Um, we, um, when I was young, we ain't... What we have, like, Black Planet had just Black, came out or some Black shit, Planet MySpace. And, uh, MySpace. That was, MySpace. Like, the very yeah. beginning type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen a little <laughs> bit of stuff on there, but it wasn't like how Facebook, Snap, you can't go crazy and like how you can go crazy that on that shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> that shit was just like pictures and shit, I think. And you could play, like, music niggas that have a blue right. rag for their background. <laughs> red rag or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was just different. Now you could really, man, you could go live. You really on there mm-hmm. talking shit. And, and, and can't and, nobody and, get to you. you know and what the I'm people saying? who created yeah. social media might have known that when they was doing that. Yeah. They might have known, like, this going to kick up some dust right here. Everybody could do whatever they want to. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The internet world, for sure. The That's... fact that it don't even charge you, like, I don't want to give them no ideas, but social <laughs> media should charge you. A lot of people might not be on there. That's true. That's true to my for, for sure. Man, hell nah, man, shit. The way that you don't people think so? is now so connected to the internet, niggas, the niggas gonna pay shit. that shit. They gonna have that. Oh yeah, no, 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 now, but bed. I'm saying initially, somebody gonna pay. It. They, initially, they gonna if that's what it was, 
you probably wouldn't have been on there. But since now we yeah, already now, used yeah, to it. Everybody. If they was to just say today, all right, you got to start paying a fee. Mm-hmm. Everybody finna come out the pocket because you already been on there for years. That's true. That's true. It ain't gonna be. It's one, like, it ain't gonna be one day when a nigga ain't in his phone on the internet right. and ask somebody. Or, you know what I mean? I'm a cheap nigga. If you pay for it, I'm gonna get on your story. <laughs> <laughs> With the music, what you uh, what you got coming with the music? Oh man, nigga got some shit coming. I've been, you know, just slacking on this shit, but yeah, I got some shit coming. I'm uh, I'm I'm working on some shit right now, man. I got some shit with KP mm-hmm. coming out. Finna shoot some videos for that. I got some shit with the young homie, okay. football. I got some shit with A Rax. Mm-hmm. I got some shit. Okay. They sure. kill switch too. That ain't never came out yet. For real. I'm supposed to do some shit with OA. Nigga got some shit with a bunch of niggas. I'm finna fuck with Adonis. Yeah, hell yeah. You know Notice how he didn't mention me. This nigga don't be trying outside. to rap, man. This nigga be bullshitting me. I, I even got some shit with the homie P3. Cause I go, how he go? He on some shit too. I'm <laughs> set. Nah, we gotta put something together for sure, for sure. What you, what you feel like? Is missing like from the uh, Dago rap scene or like the music scene? Like you feel me? Why niggas can't take it to that next level? I mean, definitely, it's a whole bunch of um, the gang issue. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, the yeah. Streets, the streets gonna separate this shit off the dribble. Definitely. You know what sure. I'm saying? Because ain't nobody trying to uh, function with the ops. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? But if it's cool, then you know it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But. I ain't finna be playing games and doing all that. So, I, I, I shit, I add to the separation if you want to be honest about it because I feel the same way. I ain't fucking with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's just being real, you know what I'm saying? So It's going gonna, it's gonna to probably take for one person to say, I'm going to set my own trend and I'm going to do it. And then you Not, might yeah. start to see. And then it probably still ain't going to be little niggas. It's going to be older niggas with a little more sense. Yeah. That might trickle down. But for the most part, um, it, it ain't going to happen. Thing. Yeah, that shit be That's just how it is, man I don't know And plus, we ain't got no big Like, our music scene Don't seem that big Like nah, nah, You know sure. what I mean? Like, our population Ain't even that big Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, for sure. damn near everybody Know everybody We all went to the same Little schools and, You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Exactly Same communities Like, same clubs Everybody really know everybody It's kind of like a small town Within a big town you Yeah, know? yeah, exactly So it's like It's always gonna be it ain't gonna never be just all the way clean across the board, you feel me? Right. I just can't never see it being like that. Definitely. It's always gonna be somebody that feels some type of way. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so like I was saying, like, yeah, what's your plan for your YouTube shit? Like, are you feel me? Like, the future goal for it and shit? Uh, my plan, I, I had already said it earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna do the podcast, the podcast thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just, you know, I don't want to be stuck in a box. Mm-hmm. So even though I'm always going to do my little interviews, whether it be, you know, just chilling mm-hmm. with a homie or by myself or, you know what I mean, on my little lunch break, whatever, that's always going to be the core of what got me the followers. Yeah. But the podcast, uh, I might even do reactions. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. A lot of I people have been telling me to do yeah, reactions. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, Kev Mack and Alex Alonzo, they have inspired me. Um, to get the history of San Diego to do some vlogging and some stuff like that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when I just did my response to Spider Low, shout out to SBI neighborhood to the neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Um a lot of people don't know about San Diego. You had a lot of people in the comments just talking outside of their neck, not knowing. Yeah. So we need to get our own history out there. Definitely. And I, I, I talked to Kev Mac the other day on his live and I was telling him like you know, pull up out here, whatever he was saying, he didn't have a car, but he also was saying, like, y'all need to do y'all own thing. You know what I mean? And, and, and uh Alex Alonzo told me the same thing, like, bro, y'all don't have no platform for y'all city. We shouldn't have to wait on Kev Mac or, or uh, uh, Alex Alonzo to drive out here to do our history on some yeah. street shit. Yeah. We shouldn't have to wait on Refuse Media. Shout out to uh the homie Dallas Key and uh, – uh, uh, top shelf jock yeah. We shouldn't have to wait For them to react To our videos We need to have our own Definitely In our own city Going on to where We can do that For yeah. sure That's In a nutshell homie I'm trying to do all of that Yeah So yeah, that's exactly. where I see my channel going nah, Sorry if I went left 
No, 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 for sure. I, f- uh, I fuck with that. Especially because, like I said, like, you, you're not biased with shit. And, like, you speak, like, well for the city. Like, you feel exactly. me? I for sure... Like for me, I for sure wouldn't mind you having like like you being like the spokesperson for the for the city type shit. You feel me? Everybody go to you to see like what's going on and shit. Like, you feel me? That, that's just me. That's that's all I try to do is call a strike a strike a ball a ball. Mm-hmm. Like I said when Tiger did that video. Yeah. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Real is real, fake is fake. And it don't got no color to that. There's no color to that. Nah, exactly. So if you wrong, you want me to rock with you because you black? Yeah. Or you want me to rock with you because you're from the set? <laughs> Bro, you wrong. Yeah. I would. I, I, I can't rock with you if you tell or do something like that. That's wrong. Yeah. So why are we picking and choosing? You either right or you wrong, homie. Definitely. And that's how I call it, period. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I got a video coming uh, probably a little later today <laughs> Might be a little more controversial But I'm not doing it on purpose Like a Charleston White or uh-huh. a 6 9 Or somebody like that Like I really just see something wrong with this Or I see something cool And I want to acknowledge that and praise that yeah, You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, whatever yeah. whatever the case is No, no, for sure I feel that I wouldn't even like compare it to them type niggas Because like, I nah, feel like they yeah. just be trolling type yeah, shit yeah. Especially the Charleston yeah. White niggas Like <laughs> and that's what's, what your th- what's your that's thoughts what on saying. that? <laughs> look, look, Charleston Wack, <laughs> these two niggas from Texas Simple Coin, be tripping. <laughs> all right? But uh we you just said it. They they do it on purpose. They do it. They don't care what happens to them. Yeah. They all about controversy. They all about the bag. Yeah. They all about stirring the pot. They all about staying relevant. Yeah. And that whatever Charleston White just said. About, uh, I guess it was a situation that happened in Texas. Are you aware of that? When somebody know. opened fire on some kids. Nah, yeah. I well, I guess know. those kids were of Hispanic descent, Mexican. Oh, okay. Yeah. If okay. I was to make a video about that, they'd say, oh, you protected, bro, them as kids. Yeah, no, for sure. And he basically said that he don't care about the Mexican babies, only nigga babies. Like, bro, that's mm-hmm. not cool, homie. That's, that's out of crazy. line. Yeah. Yeah, they could have been white, Asian. Uh, uh, Middle Eastern, it don't matter. That's foul. Yeah, yeah, You're a grown for man, sure. 40 years old, 40 something years old, and you saying pretty much you laughing at them babies. That's not cool, yeah. homie. Yeah. So when I speak about stuff like that, people be looking at me like I'm doing something wrong. And that just lets you know that there's no integrity, there's no morals, there's no nothing no more. That's it's crazy. a free for all. Yeah. yeah, you already know that because that nigga said he going to call the police on some niggas. Yeah, he a sucker. And he's talking yeah. like he, you know what I'm saying? Like he affiliated with the streets or something. He acting like he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The way he act, he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Calling niggas up, threatening them with blowers and but, shit. But, but the man, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he, he is. Sure. Cuz also said. He's a weird nigga. Look, look, he said, he's going to say, I'm going to call the police and call his probation. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he also <laughs> said. That every time the nigga is you, that's some new type of niggas. Yeah. But you know, they just with everything. Snitching, tripping. He also said that he don't know why y'all listening to him. And he say anything for entertainment. He yeah, said this out of his own yeah. mouth. Uh-huh. And he still got a following that lets he you know do. that people is brainwashed. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah exactly. And people like to see a That nigga said, I crazy. say whatever. He literally said that. I say whatever. Y'all ain't got no business listening That's because people entertained by it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bullshit, crazy. I, don't even, I, 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 don't see, I see his nothing. little clips posted, so I listen for a minute. But I can't listen. I ain't never listened to one of his full interviews. Yeah, you know that, talking about I ain't the never effect, went to look that nigga up or like listen to one of his full interviews. He just speaking a whole bunch of bullshit. Oh, yeah, but like the homie, nigga, don't listen to it because it's like he really talks some real shit. Yeah, you know yeah what exactly, saying? exactly. Keeping it clean all the way across. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. That nigga be catting off on the set. I'd be like, <laughs> it's like he go, he go in the mirror and he be like, what could I say? And he probably practice it. Uh-huh. He say it and he be like, all right, record. <laughs> and he go on one. Like this nigga tripping. Said he did. That's weird as fuck. I mean, yeah, that nigga is weird though. Uh, on, on the music shit, uh, who's some of your influences? You know, you say? the usual Tupac, Dylan, 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 and Dylan. Dylan, 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 Dylan. <laughs> the usual, the usual <laughs> people like Tupac and all that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I grew up. Well, I was born in the late '80s, so yeah. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying hello, hello. that's all that type of shit. '90s music. Yeah, you know what all the '90s shit. Hell, hell yeah, but I. I don't know. I don't really listen to a lot of motherfuckers. He said he grew his hair out because of bone thugs. 
Hey, <laughs> 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 now I used to be off Bone Thugs though. The seven when I was See? younger. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> hey, I used to be banging that shit. Nah, for sure. Um, you know, we was off a lot of them Sacramento rappers too. Facts. The Lynches, Cause that's the when we was on our the, gang man and shit, and uh, was young. Looney Coleone, T like Nutty, the only crip rappers, low key. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That was really gang banging, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's the type of niggas we listen to: Brother Lynch and T Nutty and all them type of niggas. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, nah. yeah. I remember one of my, uh, my older cousins put me on T Nutty. I was like, yeah, he's that nigga crazy as a young man. Hey, that nigga T Nutty used to be snapping for sure, for sure. Um. Oh, you say you, you want to introduce uh, yeah, your, like, well, you, you can uh, bring up the chair if you want to. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cut my hair. So, you? you know, Bully 3, my son, it's my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pick them up today. I need to take them to the park after. Because <laughs> okay, so I'm 40. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, so, you better introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm a football, feel me? I'm a I'm a rapper. Oh, okay, okay, for sure. How, how old are you? I'm 16. Oh, you 16? Then sure. okay, okay. All right. Um, when you start rapping type shit, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like nigga been rapping since I was like 14, 15. Yeah. You feel me on the set? Hello, hello. But nigga ain't really take it serious until I was like 15, 16. And started dropping videos and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay, God. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hello, that, that's what's up. You keep that shit going for sure. So, um. Was you like you you was raised over there too, like in the forties or like how like where was all you right, raised like, at? I'll say like all right, feel me. At first, feel me. I was I was always born in East Dago, like on Fifty Second type shit. Feel me? Okay, okay. But when my brother came around, they feel me. Chicago, Free Diamond, man. You feel me on mm-hmm. the set? When my brother started coming around, feel me. Nigga, nigga was migrating to the southeast. Feel me? Okay, okay. So niggas was always over there on the set. So. For me, that that became home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the set. Okay, okay, for sure. I adopted him. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, you feel me? Niggas was around this nigga, Cub, Bully 3, feel me? On the set. Yeah. Niggas was on the set. That's just, that's just home. Hey, oh, my God. That's what's up. Who, who was you listening to com- uh, coming up, like, some of your influences, like, music? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I always listen to the homies, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, J.O., yeah, yeah. Bully 3, feel me? K.P., Helen. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. See hack too. Yeah. Oh God. Oh shit. You working on like any projects, or is you just like just you feel me? I got like this little EP. I'm gonna probably drop like four or five songs on it. You feel me? Hello. It's called Back to Back. Back to Back. Oh God. Okay. I'm gonna have my brother on there at Quato. Yeah, okay. Set. okay, okay, okay. For sure, I feel that. I feel that for sure, for sure. Ask him about the birds and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know shit about them. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So, um, what age would you say you start moving around? Type shit, like, like what on you the mean? streets, in the streets on some street shit. I say like 12, 13. 12, 13? for sure. Hell Feel me? I was I was migrating over here to the southeast. I always lived in these. They go, but. I always made my way to the southeast. Mm-hmm. Home, man. Okay, okay. That, that's always been home. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Nah, 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 for sure. You ever been to the, to the hall or anything? Nah, I ain't yeah. never been juvenile hall. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, okay, nah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's for sure. Brother. Niggas a smooth hustler. For sure. Yeah, yeah, Nigga be trying to, you feel me? I'm yeah, sad. You just gotta know how to maneuver type for sure, shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm saying. That's what's up. You know what? I got a question for the homie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Where you trying to take your music to? Like, where you see? Is this just a hobby for now, or are you really pressing? Like, feel me? Nigga want to push, like, like to the point to where I can put my niggas on, you feel me? Like, to the point to where, like, all right, bro doing a YouTube shit. So, boom, I'm investing in bands to bro YouTube shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's God. Real shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga trying to invest into the homies to the point to where, like, niggas, niggas ain't got to look for a distribution or, you mm-hmm. feel me, or yeah, yeah. a record label type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. if niggas trying to put the homies on and not look for nothing after it. And, that, and that's the something. same thing I said to you, like, as far as, like, the outlets. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what you doing is investing into our city to where we don't have to look for it. Like he said, distribution. Going outside of San Diego for another platform is... Yeah, no yeah, key distribution. For, sure. for sure, for sure, promotion. For sure, and not yeah. to say we're not gonna mess with people, because like I said, I got love for the Alex Alonzo, the mm-hmm. Refuse Media's, and all that. But we this just need is our it own right shit, here. our own in-house shit, and exactly. Dago shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. 
No, nah, that's that's dope. I fuck with that for sure. The like the way the way y'all looking at shit like on a bigger scale, you know. Like y'all got actual goals for this shit type shit, you know. Right. You know what I mean, I fuck with that. We ain't bad guys. They <laughs> this one too, or just both that for one? both. <laughs> yeah, man, you know. When they when they hear about the gloves, man, they think it's all bad. But we normal just like everybody yeah, nah, else. Nah, you know what sure. I mean? We ain't going for nothing. <laughs> but we cool too, homie. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, nah, niggas nah. is really trying to do something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hell we nah. ain't trying to just sit around on sure. some bullshit all They got a whole little, you feel me, business finna launch all that shit. Oh, yeah. Clothing okay. line, we all that. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hell, that's what's up. I mean, sure. keep that shit going. I mean, sure. that type of shit. Especially like you young, you For already sure. thinking that's like that. Saying, like, feel me exactly. How many I'm young niggas is thinking like that? None. <laughs> I ain't gonna For sure. lie. That's what I'm saying. I'm only 16, cuz, so like, feel me? Hell By the time I'm 18, nigga, finna have way more shit. Like, yeah, you know, me, keep that shit going, bro. For sure, for sure. I, I, like, I'll be proud to hear shit like that. And he got bars. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. For sure. If you're uh, on you on some music shit, with, like, if your shit started taking off, like, without, you know, just going up, going viral, you, you go, like, a pretty good fan base, would you sign or would you try to take the independent route, like, on some Nipsey shit, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Like, as a kid, always wanted to be independent, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. If they're talking, but, but they always <laughs> say, if they're talking about some chicken, I'm gonna eat. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So my mama, I'm gonna he eat. Grew up, he grew up in an era where you could be independent. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. So you, you know that she's 16, he said, since I was little. Mm-hmm. That's how long you've been able <laughs> to be sure. independent yeah, yeah, and get mean. on. You know For what real. I mean? And, okay, the promotion and all the distribution, all that's cool as far as the label goes. But, like, I seen you had asked Lil Weirdo the same question, or, mm-hmm. or your homie did. Mm-hmm. It has to make sense. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? No, no, now, if sure. a nigga's not eating, he gonna sign for anything. Mm-hmm. But if a nigga already eating, you gonna be like, what I need that for? That's yeah. why Nipsey took so long sure. to even do a partnership, a partnership with, uh, yeah. was it Atlantic? Something like that. I, I think, think it was so. Atlantic. Yeah, 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 I think so. Because Nipsey wasn't, he wasn't starving. He yeah. wasn't in a position to where he needed to do that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And once it makes sense, that's when a nigga could be like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this deal. Mm-hmm. But nigga, if you waking up and you, Broke every day, and they tell you, hey, 500000 you going to do that. And exactly. you're going to sign over your publishing. You're going to sign over all sure. your rights because yeah, yeah. you're thinking sure. about right now. Exactly. That's true. That's true, motherfucker. I'm going to ask both of y'all, like, y'all different ages and shit. I'm going to go with, uh, you feel me? It ain't even got to be in the city. Who's, like, like y'all top three artists y'all fuck with? It, it could be in the city, or it, don't, it could be some industry shit or whatever. You feel me? Um. That's hard. <laughs> yeah. on, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. I, man, I can't even. What's some shit you just uh, be slapping in the car or something? All right. Uh, on the way here? Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> Man, I was listening to uh, that Zoe Osama. Okay. Um, underrated. I was listening to Primo Rice, pimp partner. Um, what else? I was listening to Joey Fats from Long Beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's what I was bumping on the way over here, but obviously it's not limited to that. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. I, look, I, oh, you know what? I was listening to KP featuring G5 and Bullet hey, Creek Ice please. Plants. Was, he pulled up bumping that on the yeah, set. Yeah, but I was bumping it before that. I was bumping it before that. I got him and uh, the little homie Quattro. I got them in the in in, in the rotation, the rotation too. Yeah, okay. So um, I listen to everything, man. Yeah. Um, A Rax, uh, Kill Switch. Uh, hello, hello. No sure. TC three, TC four, whatever. I, I listen to a lot of it, homie. Okay, um, okay for sure. Hell and then mainstream wise, uh, you know, I like that. I like, I like. I'm, I'm one of them old niggas, mm-hmm. so I like real hip hop still. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, listening yeah. to Kendrick. I'm listening to Nas. No, I'm no, listening to sure, shit like that sure. still. Hell 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 um, but I do like some <clears> of the little <throat> young retarded niggas too. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. it just depends on what song it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, feel you, I mean, I fuck with that for sure. For sure. How about you? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? Most of the time, I'm ready. I'm I'm listening to myself, mm-hmm. but I swear I, I knew we was gonna I say fuck that. with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on the set, you feel me? But on the set, I fuck with uh, S5, feel me? TC3, TC4, R3, R3, the Chili Man, feel me? I'm great. I'll be expanding. I expanded my horizon sometime. Kill switch, all that on the set, feel me? But okay, okay, I fuck with that for sure. Niggas gotta expand their expand their horizon. Right. Because you can find inspiration from everywhere. For and sure. it's the same with me with YouTube. 
I you listen. Know. I watch so many different channels. If you was to click on my channel and see the type of channels that I'm subscribed to, mm-hmm. you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Because yeah. some of it is like, "Why is he subscribed to this?" <laughs> but, but they got to expand their horizon, right? Because yeah, yeah, it's going to help you with your content. Yeah, okay. Definitely. I, I know you. You said your um, your brother, the one that, um, that's locked up, Quarto. Quarto. Uh, that's one of the main ones you fuck with. Anybody else you want to shout out that you coming up with rapping right, with, right now? Uh, shit, that's kind of hard. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> feel me on the set, like feel me, me and Quata, that's my bro. That's like on the, the set one. for sure. Yeah. Feel me, we gonna have our project dropping real soon. Okay, on the set, he finna be home real soon. Free Quata. Okay, okay, no cap. Niggas is like Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for sure, that's my bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> my mama. Yeah, we're probably going to drop, like, a little four-song EP or something. I don't know. Niggas been telling us, like, we got to get on a project together. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Niggas going to figure it out uh, for sure. Um, You want to hop on for it and, like, introduce yourself, too? I'm not you trying to do that. Yeah, all right. Hey, that's for a guy. That's for a guy. Nobody, you feel me? <laughs> on the set, y'all go check out that uh, football and for guy that reckless. On the set. <laughs> for sure. That motherfucker go crazy. Right. That's that's one of my sons too. <laughs> For sure, we go crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't follow him. <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't get it. <laughs> I hope you don't get it. For sure. Hey, look, it's blue flame, fucking with overhated and underrated, man. We out here, man. Look. For sure. Shout out my shit. Go at me. For sure. I ain't a rapper, but I'm a trapper. <laughs> hey, you know what that remind me of? That remind me of uh, the real MVP TV. You know how people always stumbling over that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's man. how this is. It's, it's like, nigga, like, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit a tongue twister, right? For like, real. Yeah, for sure. It's easy, but, is it, but it ain't. Exactly. I want to say, yeah. say overrated and underhated. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I, I appreciate, I appreciate yeah. niggas coming through for sure. We're going to get a lot more work in. I want to... um. Like I said, I want to keep having you come back, like do like a series type shit. Even like, like you said, we would probably do one like once, like every other week type shit. You feel me? Right, I'm with it. Yeah, you know type shit. And on the next one, I make sure my boy here is a lot more. You know, like I said, I don't talk that much. So it's, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, I'm, I'm trying to get I'm, used I'm, to this I'm, shit. I'm be you feel me? Completely honest with you. Cause I've been watching the other ones and I noticed he do most of the talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like you did good today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate and it. And you yeah. talked to yeah. three different niggas, which For you sure. probably didn't <laughs> plan on doing. You know what I mean? No, no. I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna bring the homies no, you no, know, so they cool. can meet you. Yeah, but exactly. I appreciate you for incorporating the Of bro. course, sure. of course. Like I said, we're gonna get some work in too. I'm gonna lock in lock in numbers and shit before we leave. So you feel me? Get some shit going. <laughs> Shout, shout out all, all like all y'all social media and shit. Your your YouTube, make sure you shout your YouTube out. For right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna make sure I tag it in the title too, so right. they could just click on it. But yeah, go ahead, shout it out. All right, um, my YouTube hoodie from the hood, um, Instagram hoodie from the hood, Facebook hoodie hood. You know what I mean, uh, okay. if you if you like that real uncut raw material, yeah, on give That's it to exactly you. What you're gonna you know what I mean? Sure. With no filter mm-hmm. and tap in. If you sensitive, don't tap in. Cause people be arguing with me in the comments and I'm gonna argue back with you. <laughs> nah, like real sure. shit. Like you're not finna <laughs> just say sideways <laughs> stuff yeah. to me and think I'm just finna, I'm finna get at you. Even yeah. though most of the people with the biggest voice don't even got no profile picture, I'm still going to address yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, man, follow me on all of that. I would appreciate it, man, and I thank you for the opportunity. Oh, yeah, 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 Cause yeah, speaking yeah. the truth. For sure, for sure. What, what, what's your shit, bro? Shit, just add me on a gram uh, at Mac the First, 4700. What was your uh, artist name again? So Fo-ball. 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 F-O-E-B-A-L-L. Okay, 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 for sure. You, you want to uh, put your shit on there, but- Yo, follow me on IG, man, at Bully3, man. That's it. Yes, sir. On hood. For sure, for sure. Hello, hello.